So we're going to start working through the 12 line tam toy. Now, many people see this as an absolutely essential basic form from Northern Shaolin. Um, some people believe it was founded at Northern Shaolin. Some people think it was invented in a temple nearby, which has got tam in the name, uh, meaning pond. So they think that's where it comes from, pond leg style. Uh, other people think that it was invented by Chinese Muslims who uh, people who then taught it to the Shaolin people. Other people believe that it was originated at Shaolin and then got taught to the Muslims. So no one really knows fully where it comes from. But it is an extremely useful foundation form from Shaolin. So many schools have then adopted this style and many schools have got their own version. No one really knows what the original version of Tam Toy is, but everyone has put their own take and their own spin on it. As I travelled around and learnt from a lot of different teachers, I learnt about six or seven different variations of the 12-line Tam Toy, as well as several versions of the 10-line, the older version of Tam Toy. And this version that I'm teaching is my approximation of, of the original version, alongside my own preferences. Because obviously I don't know what the original version is, so I take the things that I think work best for body development, the things that I think work best for uh, combat, and the things that I think are most common. So if five people do a line one way and one person does it the other way, probably those five people from different lineages are more accurate than that one person. So the version I teach is quite dense in terms of um, variation as well, because I try and get every single variation in there somehow. So for example, the first line where one's hitting and moving, um, like a lot of the time that's repeated throughout the set but I try and show slightly different variations all the way through so that you have the the widest practice of Tam Toy available to us because Tam Toy is an extremely intelligently put together set and if you know how to use it for combat you don't really need anything else an awful lot of people learn Tam Toy and then they don't really pay much attention to the later levels of it so they learn it for the stances and they learn it for the body extension. But then they move on to other styles of Kung Fu to learn how to fight and how to link the body and how to do power generation. But good Tam Toy should have all of that. Good Tam Toy has incredibly useful applications. It has incredibly well-designed body mechanics. It's just unfortunate that a lot of people have seen it as a foundation set and moved on without perhaps putting the time in to find the foundations of it. Um, so I'm hoping to, to teach it in as much depth as possible so that you really have a fruitful practice of Tam Toy.